Here's a nice side-by-side -side of two iron crosses. The iron cross first class on the left and the Iron Cross second class on the right. The Iron Cross has a long history in Germany. There was, they were around over a hundred years before the Second World War, throughout the Napoleonic Wars and the uh, Franco-Prussian Wars and the Grand Great War, First World War. And uh, when the Second World War uh, came around, the Iron Crosses were instituted again. And in typical fashion, they were made uh, in high quality materials. The difference between the first and the second class, as you can see here, um, they have identical obverses, but one has a, a ring and subsequent ribbon attached to it. Uh, the first class has the pin and the catch set up like we see on a lot of the badges. In this case, the this, C-wire this catch, nice hinge on there and a maker marked pin representing B.H. Mayer. So this is a frosty example, what collectors call frosty, where it's the white in appearance from the finish. It hasn't uh, tarnished and disappeared. It's still nicely intact. Smooth iron core, uh, so not too much wear on that one. As opposed to this one, you can see that this is a nice worn one with wear throughout. Um, you're going to see some rusting too on a lot of these cores. 1939 at the bottom, the year it was instituted. The swastika national symbol at the time in the middle. And on the reverse, 1813, the year the initial Iron Cross was instituted. So they pay homage to the initial uh, institution of the award, which is always nice to see. And think about the length of time that elapsed between that first um, Institute, inst institution of the award and, and the uh, Second World War over a century. So nice um, metal frame around these, beautiful design, nice three-dimensional, lots of contrast between the smooth edges of the wording and lettering, the sharp point tips of the uh, crosses, the curvatures, um, as well as the raised ribbed area. Uh, and the contrasted smooth color of the black core and the shiny outer uh, rim. Lots of contrast, great design. You would get this for um, displaying uh, acts of bravery and valor. The second class you could earn for, uh, I believe it's just a single act, and the, um, the second class just a single act. The first class you would have to show uh, something above and beyond or several acts of uh, bravery, valor. And this would pave the way for the receiving a uh, Knight's Cross. So the second cross is something that was widely given out. The first cross, uh, not so much, and uh, or not as much. And uh, eventually it would open the door for higher awards. So the Iron Cross, first and second class.